Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin by the Lake. It is the morning of day 13. I've got a couple of skill points to spend this morning and I'm going to put both of them into Grease Monkey. That'll make it cheaper to craft the mini bike when we unlock it and it'll also make it faster to unlock it because we'll find more vehicle books now. Uh, first thing we are doing this morning is going to visit the new trader. And we're also going to avoid killing that chicken because... I lied in the last episode. I did not have my fingers crossed, so the war on chickens is over. At least for this series, anyway. I mean, I gotta be true to my word, right? If I'm not true to my word, then what's my word worth? Nothing. Anyway, like I said, we're going to see the new trader. Hopefully, it's Trader Rick or Trader Hugh. I haven't found those guys once in Alpha 21. It's always either Jen, Joel, or that old grumpy bastard. Gotta stop and check the mailboxes. Trap book. I'll leave the paper. Good on that for now. Mining book we already read. We will sell that. Oh, big giant cat. I want that mailbox, though. Go ahead, cat. Keep going. Move along. All right. Uh, I'm going to try and be sneaky here. Slow. You stay there, cat. I just want to look in the mailbox. I'll read that, and I'll be on my way. Oh, at first I thought this was Joel, but it's not Joel. It is Trader Hugh. Hugh got it. Oh, man, using his name as a pun. I wonder where they got that idea from. No, I'm kidding. I'm not trying to say I was the first one to come up with that joke, but I'm pretty sure I, I was. Even though it's an obvious pun. Hugh, you, that's an easy one. Some rifle parts, I'll hold on to those, and the murky water. I mean, look at this place. He's got the military trucks going on. Looks like we're going to have a lot of good shit here. I can't believe I've never been here before. Not once. Rick's place, either. If you're new to this channel, I call Trader Bob Rick. I've been calling him that for years now so he'll never be known as Bob to me that's just weird there's no traitor Bob you know what fuck you go on the floor bitch I got enough meat to last me a lifetime nice another workstation book 24 of 75 we're six away from unlocking the mixer hold on to that wheel scrap the spring what do we got in here? A running generator and some free gas. Empty medicine cabinet. Nothing down there, it appears. Ooh, ammo pile. Some shotgun shells. Nice view of the compound. Trader Hugh doing pretty well for himself. Uh, eye candy. And I'll take the jailbreakers too. That could come in handy. What's up, Hugh? I love what Hugh got here. It's like you really know what you're doing, don't you? <laughs> All right, that's enough. What's your story? My story? How much time you got? Because it's a long one. Started in Brooklyn, New York, where I was born. Busted out of my mom's womb with the gun in hand. Doctor was like, where'd he get that from? So I smacked his bitch ass. I said, mind your business. None of that is true, except for the part about Brooklyn. I was born in Brooklyn. Anyway, look at all this shit you got here. This is crazy. I wish I could search all this stuff. We'd be loaded. Oh, ammunitions box. That's pretty nice. I guess this is why I never found you. This is like a late game trader. They don't want you finding this place on day one. I think that's about it. Well, maybe we can search these here. Yeah, we can. I'm good on the tank top. BDU shirt? I might as well sell it to him. All right, buddy. I got some stuff for you. Give me my XP, and now take all this shit. All right, almost 10,000 coin. 9 millimeter, 7.62. Shotgun shells? Oh, finding Hugh is a blessing. This is great. This is a game changer right here. What 
More damage against mountain lions. We could afford it, but that's pretty much all our money. Gunpowder. Bullet casings. Pipe bombs. Oh, I can't afford all of them. I'll take six, though. Oh, well, this is good. It's nice that we got another trader on the map, especially one that's going to carry a bunch of ammo. All of his jobs are a little too far away, so we're just going to roll out and we'll do the job for Trader Joel that we took yesterday. Let's put that on the map. It's a tier three fetch. Yeah, I'm good on that stuff. I didn't search that watchtower either. Oh, shit. Oh, we got a mountain lion. Let's get up here. Should be able to get a shot at it from here. Oh, yeah. Uh, good thing I didn't just go right for the door. Down she goes. Oh, hi there. Whoa, look at this. We got a stripper party. How you doing, ladies? Hey, get away from my pussy. What's the matter with you? Crazy ass strippers. Hey, stop eating my pussy, lady. God damn, don't even ask permission first. Just run up and start eating it. It's fucking wild out of here. It is wild that Trader Hughes. Yep, back up. Let's stop and take this car apart. The job is right down the road. That's the place we were at last time, the pawn shop and the bakery. Hopefully it's not there again. It could be at the bear den next door. That would be better. And no luck. Now we've got one engine at home, but I'd like two more. Because we're going to need one for the mini bike, and I want to make two mixers when we unlock that thing. Now let's see. If it is the bakery and the pawn shop, we're going to do it again, obviously, but... It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's going to be the bear den. It is. Awesome. That's nice. Something different. Some corn, sure. Why not eat some raw corn that you find inside of a weathered sports bag in the wall of a bear den? I'm sure it's safe. Oh, bear rug. What do we get from this? A couple pieces of leather. Would have rather a bear rug. Hey, look at that! Level 4 scrap gloves. What are we currently wearing? Level 4 scrap gloves, so we'll sell those. Sometimes you gotta go up in order to go down. What do we got up here? This must be the way to go. Down a fire escape. Right in there. Yeah, it's gotta be, because the fire escape ends. Well, I uh, don't see any zombies, or really anything of use out here. Oh, I do see a bear, though. We got bears at the bear den again. Last time I was here, there weren't any bears. Wake up time, bitch. It's a zombie bear. So, can't get any meat out of it, but we can get some testosterone out of it. Back up, lady. I'm doing something here. We'll just stand right here and keep shooting it. If it breaks out of there, then we'll run. Okay, one bear down. Half-eaten sandwich. Uh, some food in here. Let's see if it's anything good. Peace. Whatever. Let's go wake up the other bear now. Beautiful. I was able to take out both bears with the crossbow before they were able to break out of their cages.
Big hitter's book, Night Stalker, Never Encumbered at Night. That's a good one, but not going to help us out too much here since we're home every night. That Mega Crush might help out, though. Robotics book, a couple of trap books, and another wire tool that I will sell. Salvage Tool Magazine, another batter up book. Hey, sprinting with the club drone in combat uses 20% less stamina, and apparently we have not found all of those books yet. We found a lot of them. We gotta be real close to maxing those out. Uh, let's go this way, we're, we're parked out front. Hey, you don't gotta run from me, chicken. The war's over. For now, anyway, you little son of a bitch. Um, yeah, that iron shovel is tempting, but I gotta go with the skill magazine bundle. Oh, that buried supplies is close. I think we can pull that off before the horde. Let's do it. I have a thank you. Well, Joel has restocked, so let's see if there's anything here that we need. Gunpowder. Molotovs. Oh, I can't afford all of them the concrete mix i'd rather wait until we can craft it ourselves and buy in all the vehicle books and then we'll just buy as many molotovs as we can afford three of them thank you survivor check back soon i get new merchandise daily let's pop open that bundle Hey, workstation books. Three away. We got zombies. Just a few of them. Oh, they're fast. Yeah, they're feral. Well, she dead. Oh, come on. Oh, we're concussed. Oh, shit, that's not going to help me. Just wasted a bandage. Dude, haven't you had enough? You're not part of this. Okay, it was a little more dangerous than expected. Uh, I'll hold on to the, uh, the clay soil. Oh, look at this. We're <laughs> fucking done already. Hey, a shotgun that we can actually use. Oh, the little ass kicking we took was totally worth it. Oh, come on. Why do I keep missing? No, Kenny. It's a bad Kenny. Bad Kenny. Shit. Okay. Gotta use the AK. Sorry, Ice Cube. It was a good day, but I still had to use the AK, unfortunately. Shit. A uh, shotgun book, magazine extender mod. I guess I got to go with the high-powered 9mm. And let's take another job for tomorrow. We'll just do the fetch. All right, Joel, see you in the morning. Granted, I survived the night, which I'm sure I will. Still got this treasure we got to get at some point. That's to the south. Oh, I'm sure I know how these spikes are going to play out, but I'm putting them in anyway. Zombies are going to climb up the ladder, headbutt those, take some damage, and break them in about two seconds. But we could always put in metal spikes eventually. I got these bars here because if I come out this far, I'll definitely be able to melee the zombies that are climbing up the ladder. But with it this close, I think the zombies will jump over here from the ladder. That's why I left it like a wood frame like that so we could pick it up quickly and get rid of it. If that's the case, which it probably is the case, but I want to test it out because science, baby. 
Well, here we go. Night 13 at the cabin. Should be a pretty easy night since I got this double barrel shotgun and a whole bunch of shotgun shells. Gonna take a recog right off the bat again. Got a dog to start things off. And as you can see, I put a door in instead of two hatches. I wanted to try this out too. I don't know if it's gonna work better or worse. I mean, the pros are I only have one thing to repair and I only have one thing to put up and down. The cons, though, are this big group of zombies are all attacking the same thing, so they're gonna break it faster, which means I'm gonna have to repair it more often. We'll see how it goes. I can always change it back. Beautiful. Should be a pretty easy night with this shotgun. Oh yeah, and holes in the door. We'll let us shoot through it at crawlers like this lady. Pretty handy. Well, it's it's definitely nice for shotguns being this close. So probably worth putting a couple of points into Boomstick. We need to finish maxing out Hummel Pete. So uh, maybe after tonight with our skill points, we'll... Uh, bump strength up again. Oh, it is working out pretty great. And with the recog active, this little sawed off pretty much guarantees you a one-shot kill. So other than, of course, upgrading the base to concrete and the doors to iron and adding in electricity and traps, I was thinking, what else can we do moving forward? If we're going to keep the ladder in place, I think adding a second ladder right next to it would be good. It would increase the number of zombies coming up the ladders, and then it would increase the number of zombies we set on fire when we throw a Molotov there. But I'm not sure if keeping the ladder is a good idea. I'm not going to know that until we start to deal with some cops and demolishers. Because I don't really want a cop blowing up at the top of that ladder. I certainly don't want a demolisher going off at the top of that ladder. So if that's going to be a problem, maybe I'll remove the ladder completely. This way the cops and demolishers stay down in the pit. Because I was thinking that I would put a sledge turret at the top of that ladder, knock out a block, so the sledge turret can do its thing through that opening. So when the zombies come up the ladder, sledge turret punches them in the face, knocks them back down into the pit. But sledge turret could trigger a demolisher. It could piss a cop off, causing it to explode up here. All those things could be bad. So even though the ladder works fine now, it could be a different story when we have zombies that blow up. So I think the move is obviously get our hands on a mixer, get this place upgraded as soon as possible. But other than that, we need to keep digging the pit down further. So the zombies that fall down there are further away from me. And then other than that, I don't think we really need to make any other changes now until we get our hands on electricity. There they go. Come on, hit those spikes. Boom, and they're gone. <laughs> that didn't last long. And the iron spikes would last a bit longer. We can give that a try. I can melee them from here. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, he j did jump into the pit. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna mess around with that. The, the idea of meleeing zombies from up here, it's a good idea, but it's also a risky one. So I think uh, I'm just going to leave it like that. You know, that guy, that guy tried to jump, and uh, he jumped too far, but I don't need a bunch of zombies trying to make that jump, and eventually some of them will make it, and uh, it just, it's just too dangerous. We don't need to take on any added danger. All right, get down there. 
You know, another thing I noticed is that these scaffolding bars in front of me, they don't take much damage at all. I think the zombies are punching through them. I mean, occasionally they hit the bars and occasionally I hit the bars with my bat. But for the most part, they don't take that much damage at all. And I think the main reason is because when they stand right in front of me, they, they punch through the bars. Lady. Oh, no. No, no, no. Get the fuck out of here. That's bad. Okay, that's a change I need to make. The bars on the side of this cage I created for them. I should have used regular bars, not the scaffolding bars. Because you can climb on the scaffolding bars, which is what that lady just did. So we need to, we need to change those out. There's no reason they need to be scaffolding bars, you know? Oh, look at this one. She found her way through. It didn't end well for her, though. Is that it in terms of zombies outside? I mean, I do hear some birds. I think that's it, though. Just the zombies in the pit and the birds. Hopefully the birds aren't doing too much damage to my shit up on the roof. I doubt they're going to be able to break through the cobblestone bars to get to my uh, water or dew collectors. And in terms of the spite farm, I really don't give a shit. Okay. I think we're done. There's one. And another one. Okay, my dew collectors look to be in place. Let's uh, actually go pull some water out of them because I forgot to do that before. And we got some spite corn. Yummy spite corn. Everything is looking good. Let's see. Little bit of damage to the bars, but... Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, shit. Forgot to take the eye candy. Even though I don't think it really does anything, honestly. Does it? I mean, it's, I mean there's got to be someone out there that's ran tests to see how much it really increases uh, the loot you get. I think the last I heard what eye candy really does, it increases the amount of the specific loot you're going to get. So we got some money here. Instead of 259 bucks without the eye candy, maybe it would have been 189 or whatever. Instead of 16 rounds of 762, we would have got, I don't know, eight rounds. Does it make much of a difference? I don't know. I'd use it anyway. Okay. Well, I'm going to do some repair work. And uh, I guess dig down a little bit more in the pit. And we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 14. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin by the Lake, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.